In this video playing behind us, you can see just how powerful the earthquake was. This land here used to be a flat field of olive groves. Well, now it looks like a canyon. And you can really understand how powerful it was by speaking with those who were there when it happened. We want to bring in our Zainab Shaib, who joins us in studio this morning. And Zainab, you spoke with a Toledoan who survived this earthquake. Yeah, crazy to think about, right? So Chris Darrington is back home in Toledo now, but that earthquake and how close he came to death is something that will stick with him forever. Everything was shaking and I'm just like, what is going on? Why me? Chris Darrington is a former University of Toledo basketball player. He moved to Syria to pursue his basketball career. Oh my God. Bro, why is always me? Little did he know he was going to experience the biggest shock of his life when the 7.8 magnitude quake struck. Just looking at everything shake and the, the lights are clicking together, the, the mirror is shaking, the water bottles are shaking, and the, really what threw me off was the ground. Like I can't reenact the ground shaking. Like it's literally like shaking. And I'm like, I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? That was my that was really my thought. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Darrington thinks of the thousands who didn't make it out alive and he's grateful to be back home, especially in the city that I was in. It's just it's, it's breathtaking to really know like how serious this was and, and just for me to be back home safely. Um, like I said, I'm truly blessed and you know, God is really good. <laughs> The Islamic Society of Northwest Ohio will host a fundraiser for the earthquake victims this weekend. So it's a dynamic situation. Their needs are changing. And so the best thing we thought that we should have a fundraiser, we should give them money. We should financially support them because they can use it based on the needs as it arises. Now tickets are $20 and you can purchase them at the door and they include dinner. But for more information on the fundraiser or how you can donate, you can head over to WTOL.com. Live in studio, Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11. All right, thank you so much, Zainab.